Hi guys, today I'm going to show you my very quick little makeup routine accompanied by fish. I actually filmed this, was that yesterday or two days ago? Before we got fish and my makeup looked so gross. Of course, because I filmed it, it ended up being the worst makeup day I've had in a while. And granted, it settled down pretty nicely and looked okay, but it looked so bad in the footage that I was too embarrassed to even post it. I kind of look like shit today. <laughs> We're trying again. My skin's a little bit less crusty. Are you good, bruh? What? Fish. This is such a needy dog. He wants attention so much right now. And I get it because you're just a little puppy. What? I'm right here. Do you want in my shirt again? Fish. That's cute. That's a thumbnail fish. Anyway, this is what I do on days where I need a little makeup, but I'm not trying to go in, which is most days. I think what happened when I tried to film this a couple days ago is I tried to go in and it did not work for me. So some of you guys may know, and by some of you guys, may, I may, nah, nah, nah. by some of you guys, I mean, probably not a lot of people know, cause why would you? I do not wear foundation if I can help it. And today I think I can definitely help it. So I just take a little bit of concealer to cover up some redness or problem areas like around my nose, under my eyes. And you'll see as I add the layers that I think that a lot of you probably don't need foundation as much as you think you do. Obviously, there's like fun and art that goes along with makeup, but I highly recommend trying this to anybody who has relatively clearish skin because I find that when I put on foundation, it just ends up looking super cakey. It breaks up around my nose and forehead where I'm oily. So give it a try because right now all I have on is this little bit of concealer. And by the way, if you're using shape tape, you need this smallest amount. You'll see that I just do directly under my eyes and on my eyelids, which I know some people think is a big no-no. But for me, it's really nice for canceling out the veins on my eyes. I'm a veiny mother Do you see this My goal is to look like I have as little product on my face as possible. I just don't really love a heavy face on me. It doesn't really work for me. I think it makes me look older. It generally makes people look a little bit older, which I think is the goal a lot of the time. But once you start hitting this age, you want to look younger. Thus, the desperate cry for help and pigtail braids. No, my hair's just literally so f dry right now you know when you're holding out for a haircut because i'm doing a major hair change soon so i don't want to go get a haircut and then in a couple weeks go get everything done so i'm just kind of holding out the problem is the longer i don't do my hair the more damage it gets but it's okay that's just how i live life on the edge welcome to my life one time i saw a psychic and she told me that in another life i was an early 2000s pop punk band male singer dude i love these wet and wild colors that they did they have a blush too it's my favorite blush it was the pac-man collection they did a blush and a bronzer on life they're my favorite blush and bronzer but they put them in these dumb f ball containers and you always drop them i don't really contour i just add a little bit of color because i'm hella pale right now because i haven't been in the sun in a very long time so see this adds a little bit of shape but i'm not like cutting that shit. mainly because i can't every time i've ever tried it's never worked out for me my makeup doesn't look good and then we added a good bit of blush. I love this blush because it has a little bit of sheen to it. I like looking dewy. I don't like looking super matte because I feel like it makes me look very dry. I also don't have really a technique. When I put on blush, I just kind of throw it in there. But do you see how my skin already comes back to life with a little bit of a sheen to my blush? <gasps> Sexy! Drop the towel. Now we take a little bit of highlighter, whatever one is closest to me at the time. I don't generally have a preference. Pop a tiny, tiny bit on the very tops of my cheekbones. The tiniest bit here, the tiniest bit here, and the tiniest bit here. Ah! And then with that same highlighter, I'm gonna take a little bit here, a little bit here. Cute. Now, this is only if I'm trying to get all real wild. I will take a bronzer for my face and just put in the crease. See, don't I look so much better right now than I did the other day? You know I looked crusty as hell the other day. Don't I even- I'm not going to admit that you look crusty. It's not gonna hurt my feelings. I'm the one saying I look crusty. Babe, I'm not like other girls. You look crusty. The did you say? For brows, this is the Hourglass Brow Sculpting Pencil. And it's this big, fat, thick one, which I didn't think I was gonna like because I generally like the little thin top ones, like the Morphe ones. But these really took me by surprise and I really like them. They make it really easy to just follow your brow shape. They're super waxy, so they kind of hold your brow in place. This one is in soft brunette. I actually really like it. I think it's probably better for people who have quite a bit of hair on their brows and they just need to fill in some spares. Is it sparse or spares? 
Dude, I don't know because it's one of those words that I thought I was saying right and then somebody corrected me But then when I started saying it the way that I was corrected I think that more people corrected me and now in my brain It's always going to be sconch versus sconces I say sparse because somebody told me that I was saying it wrong when I said sparse And now it's just I'm gonna sound like an idiot 50% of the time for the rest of my life But that's what I get for believing without doing my research and you know what? That's my bad straight up. That's my bad <laughs> I feel like when it comes to my makeup, the least hard I try is the best it ever looks. And that's simply the tea. This is Beauty Counter Brow Setting Gel, which I still have very mixed emotions on. Molly gave it to me because she didn't like it. Here's the thing. It goes on so beautifully and really does the job. But sometimes, and only sometimes, it gets this really white goopy goop. As Molly said, I don't know if it's a user error or product error, but it only happens sometimes. So maybe there's just a product that it mixes with that it doesn't like to mix with. I love that. That's so nice. And now we just need a little, a little mask mask, a little scara, a little scalera. You might think I'm happy, but I'm not gonna be okay. <gasps> Leave in the comments what you think I wish for. Don't know what it's like, what it's like. <laughs> You know what's funny? When he barks at the reflection, because he thinks it's another dog, he thinks the dog is barking at him as well. So they're just barking at each other. And he's like, well, if this dog's gonna keep barking, I'm gonna keep barking. And then he goes, okay, I'll stop and see if he barks. And he's like, okay, he stopped barking. I'm gonna bark and let him know what's up. Oh, he barked too. <laughs> Oh my god, did you see how cute that was? I've been on this cherry chapstick. Simply the cutest shade of pink. I usually don't clear my mascara dots, but I had time today, boy. Loosen up the top a little bit. Way too much. It's fine. That's how I roll. Make it look like I don't care. Newsflash. I guess I don't that much or else I would fix it. <laughs> Cause I'm not like other girls. I probably am. I don't know actually. Am I? What is girls? Does that make sense? Oh, now we're gonna get into a whole existential crisis about what it means to be a woman and umbrella stereotypes. Come on, BP. Get out of there. Fish. <laughs> He's the cutest. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching my makeup routine this time. Bye. <laughs> Tried my best.